Number 22, to help prevent frost damage, four kilograms of zero degrees Celsius water is sprayed onto a fruit tree. Letter A, how much heat transfer occurs as the water freezes? All right, so this is actually fairly straightforward. In order to talk about heat transfer during a phase change, you have to use this formula up here on the top right. It says that the heat energy during a phase change is equal to the mass of the uh, fluid involved, or it could be a solid liquid, you know, solid or liquid, or gas if we're just talking about general phase change. So the mass associated in that phase change multiplied by the latent heat of either vaporization or fusion, depending upon what type of phase change you're talking about. So specifically here, we're talking about freezing. So let me say that this is going to be the heat energy upon freezing will be equal to the mass of the uh, liquid then that froze, okay? Multiplied then by the heat of fusion, okay? So all I now simply need to do is basically plug in, right? I have all the values. The mass is gonna be four kilograms as they told us and the latent heat of fusion, you gotta look that up. Uh, that's 334 kilojoules per kilogram. So the units are consistent here. Please just be aware that when you calculate this, 334 times four, that's in kilojoules, okay? So one, I'll just write it all out. 1,336 kilojoules, all right? Kilojoules. So that's great. So that's an answer. If you wanted that in joules, just simply take that and, you know, um, multiply it by 1,000, and that would be equivalent to then 1,336,000 joules. All right, it doesn't matter. They're all the same. Okay, letter B. So let's see what it says. How much would the temperature of a 20 kilogram tree decrease if this amount of heat transferred from the tree? All right, assume the specific heat to be 3.35 uh, kilojoules per blah, 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 blah. So basically we're just talking about, right, heat transfer of an object. So uh, no phase change occurs, as they say. So we're going to be just simply using the Q is equal to MC delta T formula. We're basically after calculating delta T. All right. So energy would have been lost. Okay. So energy would have been lost here uh, uh, for the tree, right? Just like the ice, right? The ice is, or excuse me, during upon freezing, upon the water freezing, uh, energy is lost from that liquid water. Okay. Now, the whole point is that when you spray a tree with water, instead of the tree losing the heat, the energy, it's the water that lost it. It kind of protects it. It, it surrounds it more or less. All right. So basically, I'm going to take this value, plug it in as a negative here because I'm talking about losing heat. You don't even have to. I mean, you could just leave it all positive. It really doesn't matter. Um, but, you know, you'll see that the temperature change then works out to be a negative value, right, which means the initial is greater than the final but it doesn't really make a difference. Now, since they told me the specific heat in kilojoules, I'm gonna use this value in kilojoules just so I don't have to do too many conversions. So this is 1,336 will be equal to then uh, the mass. So that's 200 kilograms. The specific heat they told us was 3.35. And then the change in temperature is what we are after. Okay, so simply just, you know, multiply these two together, then divide it on out. You know how to do the math here. So let's just do that. So divide it now by 200 multiplied by 3.35. And we get a value about two, right? 1.99. So 1.99, uh, this is then, and it's minus, right? So that it means it goes down and that's in degree Celsius. Okay, so it's gonna decrease by about two degrees. Voila, all right guys. So I do hope this video helped. Help us out, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. And uh, if you can, tell your friends even better. All right, guys, take care. Bye.